So have you ever lost an erection right after putting a condom on? Well, you're not alone. I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and today we're going to talk all about condom-associated erection loss. According to studies, apparently 7-12% to of men experience what we call condom-associated erection loss. With even smaller studies reporting up to 37% of college students having erection loss when using a condom. And this often leads to removing the condom early in somewhere between 3 to 12% of men. Now, this is actually a really big problem because men who report condom-related erection loss are also more likely to have unprotected vaginal intercourse and less likely to use condoms consistently. This puts you at a bigger risk for pregnancy and sexually transmitted infections. Now, the good news is that not everyone tries to have penetrative sex after having issues with the condom. Oftentimes, they'll try to use different types of sexual stimulation, like manual or oral, or they may even incorporate their partner in trying to put on the condom for them. Now, why exactly does this happen? We're not exactly sure, but it seems that men who face these challenges with condoms might need more intense stimulation to get aroused compared to those who don't. And this comes from a pretty small study. 142 men between the ages of 18 and 29, they looked at these men who had problems with condoms and those who didn't. And about half of them had condom-associated erection problems. And they showed them four three-minute erotic films. The first one was while they were distracted. So they asked them to do basic arithmetic, like addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division, with a video in the corner for 10 seconds. The second video had a performance demand. And what that means is they asked them to get an erection as quickly as possible. The third was when they had some sort of vibration or vibrotactile stimulation, and the last one had nothing additional. And they wanted to see, like, is there a difference between these two groups? Now, the minutes of the films were also very specific. So like in the first minute, they saw things like kissing or manual stimulation. In the second minute, they showed oral sex. In the third minute, they showed penetrative intercourse. So again, what they found was that as a whole, all men had worse responses when they were distracted and better responses when they were told to perform better or demanded to have a erection as quickly as possible. But in general, those who had condom problems did not have any differences compared to those who didn't in relation to vibration or when they were distracted or when they were told to perform better. And so what they found in all the men was that the average penile circumference increased from the first minute to the second minute to the third minute. However, men who had problems with condoms in the past actually had less response, meaning that their girth was actually not as wide as those who did not have problems. Now, they only saw this in the first minute of the film. They didn't see this in the second or third minute. So this essentially tells us that there may be a chance that these men need more arousal, at least in the first minute, to get the same amount of girth as they do as other men. But there are some associations. So what we do know is that men may be more likely to have condom-associated erection problems if they have poor confidence in using condoms correctly, if they have a problem with the way the condoms fit or feel, or if they have sex with multiple partners. Interestingly, in one study that they published in 2011 out of Indiana University, wanted to find out what factors specifically were associated with condom-associated erectile dysfunction compared to people who didn't have this problem. And so they recruited 1,875 men across seven states in the United States. And these were across college campuses, on internet sites, on electronic bulletin board internet sites, and um, HIV, STD prevention testing agencies. And they asked them to fill out a daily diary. And this was obviously when they had sex, and they asked basically whether they applied the condoms too late, who was responsible for putting on the condom, and their perception of how long or girthy or firm their penis was compared to usual. And then also if they had any difficulties in maintaining their erection. 
They also asked them how snug or loose the condom felt and then did how long did sex last and how vigorous was the sexual activity. They basically wanted to find out if there was any condom breakage, slippage, or if they used any lubricants or oils or anything else that might affect the effectiveness of the condom. And the interesting fact that I got from this paper was that 49% of these men were never taught how to use a condom. That's a, that's a lot. <laughs> so in the entire group, about 12% of men used a condom and late, meaning they applied it after intercourse started and 5% removed it before they finished intercourse. So men who tended to put the condom on late usually felt that their condom was a bit looser. If it came off too early, it may have been because the guy felt that his penis was wider than usual or he had trouble keeping an erection was if they took it off early at one sexual encounter, they were also more likely to do it again. And also they found that people who delayed putting it on or took it off more quickly felt that their penis was shorter than usual or had trouble maintaining an erection. So the take home point is here is that when men have problems with condoms, that tends to lead to a relatively stable behavior, meaning that they're often going to have these issues with condoms and they might put them on later or take them off earlier. This may be because you build these habits or get these cues around condom use. So you may have tried to use a condom once, had a poor erection, and then you start noticing that um, when you're about to put a condom on, you're like really stressed about, is the condom gonna come on quickly enough? Am I gonna keep my erection? Let's do this as fast as possible. And you're very distracted, thinking about something else, stressed, anxious, and then you don't get a good erection. And then you're like, oh, it's the condom. And then it sort of becomes this vicious cycle because each time you're more and more anxious, and then you realize, okay, if I do this to either take the condom off early or put it on later, I might be okay. And so this is sort of what we call a psychogenic erectile dysfunction, meaning that your brain is causing so much anxiety and stress that it's making it difficult for you to get an erection. And I've made a whole video on this, so if you wanna learn more about it, make sure you check that one out. Another theory is that if you're using poorly lubricated condoms, they can become pretty dry, which can make it irritated for you and even your partner and ultimately reduce any sexual sensation you're having. And unfortunately, men who have these issues have been found to have higher levels of depression and anxiety, and they were more likely to have mild erectile dysfunction. In fact, in one of the studies, they found that 18 to 32% of young men who had condom-associated erectile dys dysfunction met criteria for mild to moderate ED when taking a survey. So that's pretty remarkable. And again, I think a lot of this may be psychogenic, but ultimately it's important to identify this and talk about this with your doctors so that we can help you through this. Now, the other question is like, what if you're taking medications for erections? A lot of people will use Viagra, Cialis, these PDE5 inhibitors recreationally before they see a doctor. So will this actually help? So a study looked at 705 men and they wanted to see if these medications protect against condom associated erectile loss. And the answer is no. Men who use these medications were substantially more likely to report erection loss during sex while using a condom, have condom slippage, and take off the condom before completing penetrative sex. And so it may be that you're actually having erectile dysfunction problems but you're attributing it to the condom. So again, important to get assessed if you're having issues with sexual function. Now, what can you do at home before you see the doctor? One is you wanna make sure that you're taking enough time to get aroused and you're getting adequate stimulation. So whatever that is for you, and if you remember from the beginning of this video, these men who had condom related erectile dysfunction, they were actually needing stimulation for over a minute longer, longer than a minute to get to the same level of stimulation as someone who didn't have these problems. Also, I really want you to practice putting a condom on and generally try to put it on when you're self-stimulating just to get a sense of if you're doing it correctly. As I mentioned before, 
49% of people were not even taught how to put a condom on. And so that may reduce the likelihood of erection problems if you put it on correctly and have the right size. So I've talked about condom size before, so make sure you check out that video. And I also in that video showed you how to put one on. Here are some tips on how to put on a condom. So first and foremost, when you get the condom, you wanna make sure to push the air out of the tip and leave a little space there so there's a place for the ejaculate to fill. Okay, that's number one. Number two, you wanna make sure that you put it down all the way. If it's not fully rolled down, it's gonna fall off. And so you certainly don't wanna do that. What's the point of wearing a condom if it's gonna fall off? Thirdly, you wanna make sure you have the right fit condom. So I've talked about condom size in the video before, so make sure you check that one out. There are condoms available that are extra thin. There's condoms that are available that are um, in different sizes, and particularly even ones you can custom for your own size. So make sure you check the links in the description if you want to try those out. I always tell my patients, like, call some condom companies to get some samples because they'll send them to you and then you can determine if they are comfortable and they fit you correctly so that you can start buying those condoms. And lastly, use lubricant. So condoms can be sort of dry and sticky. And so you can put lubricant on your own penis, you can put lubricant on the outside of the condom, but you have to make sure it is the correct type of lubricant. So you can use water-based or silicone-based lubricants. Water-based lubricants do evaporate quickly, so you might need to reapply them. Silicone based lasts a little bit longer, so you can try those as well. Never use oil based lubricants because those can actually degrade the condom. And so we don't want that either, right? So only water based or silicone based. And I'll link some lubricants down below, but again, check out my video to learn more about lubricants. Another thing that's really important is to realize that during sex, penises fluctuate, meaning that sometimes they're gonna be more rigid, sometimes they're gonna be a little less, and sometimes you might lose an erection, and that's okay. That's pretty common, but you just wanna give it time for it to come back. So stimulate, give it time, and you can even try to eroticize the use it using the condom. So maybe have your partner put it on, incorporate it into foreplay, rather than sort of just rushing to get it on very quickly. And then the other important thing is to make sure you're taking enough time to put on the condom. Now this is really important. So they looked at this in a study of 440 men and those men who felt like they didn't have enough time to put on their condom were three times more likely to have condom breakage almost two and a half times more commonly reporting slippage of the condom, almost three and a half times more likely to have difficulty with erections, and two times more likely to report reduced sexual pleasure of themselves. They also reported problems with their female partner having difficulty with sexual pleasure and irritation. So guys, make it part of the experience. Make putting on a condom part of the foreplay, Make sure it's not something you rush through. Take your time and make sure the condom fits correctly. So bottom line, condom associated erection loss is a serious issue and it happens to so many men, even young men. So you're not alone if you're struggling with this and it can be a serious problem. So make sure your condom fits appropriately and take your time. Make it part of the erotic experience and don't rush. If you guys like this video, you might actually find my video on Botox for your erections pretty interesting. So check that one out. And as always, remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it.